Published 09 Eastern Standard Time, the 20th of January 2019. Updated 09 Eastern Standard Time, the 20th of January 2019. Unruly British tourists who have captivated New Zealand with their uncouth behavior left a hotel room in disarray on Saturday morning, with towels, Red Bull cans and spaghetti strewn around the accommodation. The cleaner at the motel, which Daily Mail Australia has agreed not to name, says it took her hours to clean the room, which was allegedly left stinking of kids' poo. Pictures seen by Daily Mail Australia show red bulkans scattered on the floor, towels bunched up in the shower and under a desk and cigarette butts covering the ground out the front. It was really messy and it smelled like kids' poo, the cleaner said. The behavior of the tourists, pictured speaking to police after causing a scene, has sparked anger in New Zealand. The family, who denied being gypsies, earlier said they were going to cut their holiday short after denying they were responsible for the series of incidents he had to open all the windows, and I told to my boss to leave them open as well as the door, so it could air out. She claimed most of the damage was done to the floor, with spaghetti found around the bed, and in the second room the group had booked. I had to scrub it with a brush, the woman said. I was supposed to finish at 12 p.m., but I finished at 3 p.m. because of the brushing. I think they were dirty people. We had to wash everything. One room was missing teaspoons, forks, a bowl and a wine glass, though the owner was hesitant to claim they were stolen, only noting they were no longer in the room. Pictures showed cans and bottles of toiletry items were left dumped on the shower floor, perhaps an indication of a hasty exit. The cleaner said she thinks the family, who are believed to be travelers from England, were fighting on the morning, as she heard shouting from one room to another. Despite multiple requests to pack up and check out when their booking ended, the family were defiant and stayed out the front of their unkempt rooms, smoking. The group also allegedly scammed restaurants to avoid paying, left rubbish on beaches, sworn at locals and destroyed the apartment they were staying in during their visit when they did eventually leave, in a car they had hidden behind a church nearby, staff at the motel claimed they threw a can out the window on their way out. The hotel confirmed that the family did pay for their room, which was booked under the name Eileen, but had told the business there would be four adults and two children staying. When the family spoke with Daily Mail Australia on Saturday, there were at least seven people present over the age of 15 and two young children. Staff said their behavior was nothing short of disrespectful, especially after they had complained about their treatment in New Zealand. If you want people to respect you, you must respect the people, and the county, and the environment, one person said. A staff member at Travelodge told Daily Mail Australia on the weekend an email had been sent to them, and she believed other hotels in the Wellington CBD area, asking them to be aware that the family had arrived. The group, believed to be from Liverpool in the UK, have also allegedly scammed restaurants to avoid paying, left rubbish on beaches, sworn at locals and destroyed the apartment they were staying in during their visit.